Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. One of the most common questions and or uh, comments I receive is from uh, new users, I'm assuming uh, new users who have installed uh, Linux Mint, Ubuntu and or uh, Zorin next to Windows 7 as a dual boot and uh, maybe something doesn't work right, something broke you try Linux Mint or Ubuntu or Zorin and you just don't like it and you would like to go back to Windows 7 and uh, as your only uh, operating system and would like to delete your Linux side of your hard drive how do you go about uh, doing that safely okay well that certainly is a fair question something that I have come across myself in my travels through the Linux galaxy so what I'm going to do first is go to the Total OS Today website and read out something in the forum that I posted back in May. Now some of you have seen this, so if you're looking at this again, please be patient and bear, bear with me. This is designed for the PC folks who are new to this and need a little bit of help. And that's what my channel and my website is designed for. Okay, so basically here at TotalOSToday.blogspot Dot com. Now this website, I designed it to be as pleasing to the eyes and as simple as possible if you are a Windows 7 slash Linux user. Now the forum is at the bottom. By the way, thank you ver very much for all your kind comments for the TOSCast 6, Podcast 6, TOSCast be between myself uh, and Infinitely Galactic from Australia on best Linux apps. We definitely enjoy doing these uh, podcasts, and we'll probably do one or two more in October. Then, of course, here in the States, we have the um, holidays, so I don't know about November and or December. We do not have a topic yet for October. Okay, let's scroll down to the support forum here at the bottom. Again, this is from uh, back in May, and this was entitled, Safely Delete Linux Mint Inside Windows 7. So if you've seen this before, again, just be patient with me, okay? Okay, first, let me say this. I wrote this at the bottom here. Okay, don't forget to back up important data just in case something happens. In case you didn't catch that, let me, let me rephrase it. Don't forget to back up important data just in case something happens. Use your external hard drive, flash drive, blank disk, always back up just in case and you should do this whether you dual boot or not okay these are the 10 steps number one install a piece of software called ecbcd number two write mbr or click write mbr number three reboot should be okay to start windows number four right click computer number five high uh, highlight manage Number six, right click and delete non NTFS partitions only. Be careful to save the hidden partitions um, as the backup if your computer came with that. Number seven, right click and delete unused partitions. Number eight, right click and extend volume in unused partition. Number nine, defrag. And number 10, you are ready to install another OS for dual booting purposes or just leave it. Now some of you commented this may have been a little bit too long you know in the step-by-step -step process yeah but keep in mind this was designed for brand new people to the Linux world and I wanted to make this as simple and this as safe as possible. So this is on the Total OS today website and that's a good place to start if you need some tips on how to delete your Linux operating system. So let me expand on this. This is EasyBCD 2.02 and then there may be a new version out. But basically here on, on this particular machine I have Windows 7 and Linux Mint. If I wanted to uh, get rid of Linux Mint or just boot only into Windows 7 I could just click right MBR and if I wanted to I could just reboot and it would only boot into Windows 7 and, and if I wanted to I can just leave that as it is but let's say while well, you fixed it you can now boot only into Windows 7 but you wanted to delete 
the Linux side of your hard drive or delete the Linux partition. What do you do? Okay, well let's click the Windows 7 Start Orb here as I like to call it. Highlight my computer, right click, and we'll click Manage. Let me expand on this. Click Disk Management. Now I won't read everything here, but the important stuff here is basically my desktop came with a hidden healthy OEM partition that's the recovery side of the computer in case something breaks in Windows 7. Now basically with my computer I would reboot and I think I have a three or maybe four or five second at the bottom of the screen it'll come up uh, you know press escape enter F8 I can't remember to go into system recovery mode or something like that that would access the hidden partition which is separated from the main partition and this should be free of any you know viruses or stuff like that and I could I could go into recovery mode and restore and reinstall my original Windows 7 software now if your computer did not come with this then it might be wise to call the vendor of your computer um, Compaq Dell or whatever you have and ask them if they can send you a copy of the restore disks for your computer. Normally what I did with my HP is uh, I, th I think if I recall I, I, I was trying to create the restore disk and, and something happened. Anyway they sent me the uh, restore disks they needed the serial number of the computer and I remember it wasn't that expensive at least not back when I order them I forget what year it was anyway have those disks and or create your own disks as a backup for this particular computer it was three or four DVDs something like that so I have not only do I have my recovery partition but I have my backup disks very very important in case something breaks now getting back to what should I delete here well I do not want to delete anything that says NTFS and that would be these two at the left. So if I wanted to, which I won't because Linux Mint works for me, I would right click this, delete volume, right click this and delete volume. I do not want to, to delete my OEM partition because that is my Windows 7 hidden partition of the hard drive as my backup. Now once I deleted these two, if we go back to the forum here at the bottom okay you would be left with an un an unused partition you would you could just right click that and extend the volume so once again you would have your full uh, capacity of your hard drive to be uh, used only for Windows 7 and that's basically how I do things in case I have to delete Linux and or something happens and I want to restore it back to the way the computer was in the beginning. So once again always always back up anything important and have your restore original restore disks just in case for some reason these steps just don't work. Okay uh, I think that's it. That's how I usually fix my computer and or computers to reinstall uh, Windows or just to reinstall a different updated version of a Linux based operating system. Thank you for watching and as always you know I will catch you sometime in the future. Ciao.